this is our simplest probably bit of R we'll ever do. Okay. So in the R sort of metaphor of things, 999 is, is an object, it's the number 999. And print is a verb, or in R we'd call it a function. So we sort of do that thing there to the thing in brackets. And what R does is it does massively, excitingly prints up 999. Okay? Okay. So there are sort of um, other doing words implied. And sometimes they're in a slightly different format, so we can do sort of something like this. So there, sort of, um, the, the doing word there is kind of addition. So effectively, we sort of take this object, the verb, the function is add, and we add 10 to it and get 22. So we can, we can sort of create sort of new objects, sort of little boxes to store things in. So sort of say I do this. Um, this, this sentence, this sort of expression in R, basically, that reads as A gets 100. So that sticks this object into sort of this sort of um, this space. So if you imagine a shoe box, so kind of a cardboard box with A on the outside of it, that puts a hundred into a, a box called A, okay? So we do that. It, it's not quite so slow and tedious as this when you do R for your living, but this, we, if you don't get this metaphor, but if you don't understand what's happening here, everything else will just be copying people and that's not what we want, okay? So what I've done there is I've put the object hundred into a box, an object called A, and actually this R Studio thing is quite neat because it shows us here that now there's an object called A with a hundred in it, yep. Um, There's a sort of, um, if we, we might, when we're doing stats, we kind of want to use generally more than one number at a time. If, if your PhD was just one measurement of a tooth, then it would be a disappointing PhD. GWAS generally relies on sort of large numbers of numbers. So um, R can handle large numbers of numbers. So if, um, if we do this a bit here, um, I'm using a verb called C here, a function called C, which basically collects numbers together and puts them into one place. And so what that does there is it's stuck this collection of numbers <coughs> into a box called B. And up there you can see that that sort of happened, yeah? Okay. So again, it's this metaphor of um, you know, using functions, these doing words in R, to do things to um, objects. And um, there, are, there are squillions and millions of um, different functions in R, but say, sort of, if, I, if I sort of print out B, I can see what's in B, these numbers, yeah. Um, R's quite nice, so if I just type B, actually, it, it knows I want to print it, so it will just print it out anyway. So I can see the numbers that are in this kind of, this magic box called B. Um, if I'm a statistician, I might want to know what the average of them is. So I can do that, and then that will sort of give me the mean of B. Okay, so this function, this doing word, applied to the thing in the brackets, gives me the mean of B. Sometimes we, we, standard deviations, you heard of standard deviation? Yeah. So we can do the standard deviation of B. Um, we can do things like we can add a thousand to B. And I was quite clever. So if we add sort of the single number a thousand to a collection of numbers, we get a thousand added to each of the numbers. Okay. We might want to sort of um, take, find the square root of each bit in B, and um, so we can do that. So we're sort of using this metaphor of functions, doing words, applied to objects to kind of make things happen.